Hello everybody, I'm Farm Magician, this is Farming Simulator 19, and today we are doing another mod tutorial! Now today's mod tutorial is on the GPS mod, or Global Positioning mod, or whatever you want to call it mod. It's, it's brilliant, it's amazing, it's one that I always have in my game. Uh, so first things first, this tractor does already have GPS enabled. But, let me show you, once you download the mod, you install it into your game and do whatever you want with it, you go into your shop, and then you go into your tractors. Now, it can be any any tractor whatsoever, so we're just going to have a look with this new Holland here. Uh, you get this new little pop-up here, which is Global Positioning System. You It's on No to start off with. You click Yes, and that's an extra £15,000. Holy hell. It's, it's quite a lot of money. Uh, especially if you like running the like little littler vehicles, it's all the same price. It does cost quite a bit, um, but that's absolutely fine. It's it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, so, on the back of this case tractor today, we do have a massive cultivator. Uh, let's turn her on, and we're going to go over to a field. We're going to go to a field that we haven't d been to yet. Uh, just because we can. Uh, we're going to go over here. What field is this? Let's have a look. Look. When we get there, that is. Uh, oh, yeah. We're on the mod testing map as well, if you didn't know. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those things, isn't it? Right. So, we are on field number three. Now, field number three looks a bit clean at the moment. Uh, so, we are just going to rough it up a bit by... Um, uh, add in some weeds. Oh, we'll add it to all. That's fine. Right, so the, the field is covered in weeds. And that's all good. Right, the first thing that you need to do is obviously unfold your implement. Oosh! That is now being unfolded. Oh, didn't want to do that. I want to get rid of that map. Now, as you can see, this is a big implement and sometimes when you're trying to line stuff up, it doesn't line up correctly. So, with the Global Positioning mod, I'm going to teach you the best way to do it. Now, I've set mine up, personally, on my um, side panel. So, I've got separate buttons to what I've got for keyboards. Because um, I'm, I'm really silly at learning loads of combinations for keyboards. I do apologise. So, uh, I'm going to try my best. I've, I've got the actual instructions here. Um, the button instructions. Uh, but I'm going to be doing it on my side over here, so it's, it's, it's we, we're going to balance it out, it's all fine. Right, so, to turn on, to enable guidance steering, you need to press Alt, uh, Alt and C. Now, uh, if I just bring up this little cursor here, can you see these buttons down here? You have got this one, uh, so that is your field lanes, you've got this one, which is your enable guidance steering, and then this one is your guidance steering. Confusing, no? Uh, but yeah. So if I press Alt and C, uh, you get the enable guiding steering icon on. That's the first thing. Now, next, what I do, I kind of line myself up to where I need to be. Once we have done that, we need to set the first point. Okay, so to set the first point, we're going to press uh, left, alt, and E. No, left, yeah, left, alt, and E. Eat. Eat? <laughs> left, alt, and E. Now, can you see, just underneath the tractor, there is an A. So that is your A point. That's good, isn't it? And then what you do, you drive forward... You've got to drive forward about 15 metres in a straight line. Well, in whatever way that you want to go. And then you press left, alt, E again. And that has, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, set your guidance steering points. That is the first step. Now we need to set the implement width. So we need to... How do you bring up the menu? You press left, alt, and R. Do you? I'm hitting random buttons and it's not working. Right, left, alt, and R. There we go. 
Right, so this is your menu. So we want to, well, we'll do that in a moment. Uh, we want show lines. That is something that is important. Uh, so here you have got your widths. So I always do auto width. That's how long the cultivator is here. And can you see that there is, um, well, yeah, it's, it's, you can offset it as well if you wanted to, but I always um, try and make that zero. And yeah, just make sure that that is all set correctly. Uh, over here, we do have our things all set. Uh, the other way to set your, your, your direction is using line method. Now this is the way that I prefer it. I go across to A plus heading. I do set A and then I change that to 90 degrees. Press enter and can you see that the lines are going the wrong way? Yeah? So what I do, I go back to the menu so I know that's the wrong way. Uh, so you need to do 180 and that can you see that the lines are now going straight ahead? Now let's reverse this back up a minute. There we go, you should be able to see the lines a little bit better from here. Right, next what you need to do, you need to move the tracks. Uh, so obviously the tracks here are in the wrong place because you've still got a bit over here. So if I were to carry on moving across, as you can see, if I move across, I'm now completely over the other side. So we want to kind of get it lined up. And that's our plan now. So if we go back to this little section here, what we need to do to move them sideways, I'm just double checking all on here because obviously like I said I press different buttons uh, you use alt plus page up and that moves them left then alt plus page down moves them right so we want to get that going straight at the very edge of the field I normally go slightly over uh, so if we just bring that up you can see that's that's running perfect and just bring it slightly over so it's it's more it's more in the actual way that it needs to go right so next once we've done that we need to press alt and x now if you look down here the little steering wheel is green you've now got green lines going down there so no matter what position i was in say if i was like this i'm going to remove the cursor and i'm going to move forward it now brings it and follows along the line so what we need to do is lower the cultivator down just like that and then we're gonna drive forward now that is going in a straight line amazing no so as much as I move the steering wheel it's not gonna move that's if I gently move it. If I heavily move it, then it is going to steer off course. But if I press that uh, uh, Alt and X again, it's now gone onto the second course, which is just there. Now, that's not what you need to be doing if you do it properly, if that makes sense. But I've just done that there to show you that it locks onto where it needs to go. Uh, so we are going to do this one, and then we are going to complete... Well, move across again, if that makes sense, and finish off that one line. So we're going to get it going all the way down. So when we set this this uh, GPS up, this row here was row zero, the line zero. Now we're on the next one, it's line minus one. If we were to move the other way, that would be line plus. That's also something else that, I, that that's worth knowing. Right, so we get to the edge. Voila, we lift up the implement. And we spin all the way around. The lines turn back white. And I normally get it just so I'm s slightly over the, the 90 degrees. Alt and X. You're locked on. 
it spins it round for you, gets it in the right place, and then lower the cultivator back down. Need to move the cursor. And it is perfectly going right next to where it needs to go. So I I love using this mod. I think it's absolutely amazing. It makes so much easy work from harvesting, from cultivating, from plowing. And that is something that I love. I, I It's amazing. Um, now, if I just go back over here, when I play using guidance steering, I normally have show lines off. So you can't see where the lines are. Uh, just to make it look a bit more realistic. Uh, yeah, tractors do have guidance steering. Uh, they do have horses and everything. It, it's it's how it is, and it's an excellent mod to use. But let's lift that back up so we go a little bit faster. We're gonna flip it around. We'll just uh, no, we'll, we'll go all the way down here a second. So now, as we're driving, can you see this number down here is ticking up? That's how many lines. So if we just go all the way to the end of this field. Uh, Alternax. So to finish off this field is uh, it's saying 13 and a little bit. So this this implement isn't the correct size for this field. That's absolutely fine. You get that sometimes. Uh, but there's 13 up and down lines. Unlucky for some, eh? Well, unlucky for me. Uh, so that is. GPS mod is absolutely easy to use. Um, I've set mine onto the side panel just so I know where all the buttons are uh, rather than all the alts and everything. Uh, because, yeah, it's just easier having some stuff set somewhere else and all that. But, yeah, brilliant mod. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to watch the others as well. There's a lot of um, learning of different li different mods and uh, to be honest if i can't master it then no one can no is that right if, if i can get it anyone can that's the way it is yeah because i I'm, I'm not clever at all so if i if i can learn how to do it any anyone can do it but guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next mod tutorial see you later guys goodbye